What's up, y'all? Got a film of the fee, so let's get into this tea. Um, we about to get into the reason why CJ So Cool went broke. Um, I don't know if it helps with iron. You got to look up those vegetables. Beets, carrots, kale, and um, watermelon juice. One of the biggest reasons why I like... Fresh squeezed, by the way. Juiced. CJ So Cool, like, fell off bad because... After him and Royalty had got into it or whatever um, about the kids, which was really his main source, his only income, literally. The man only income was dealing with kids, right? So if somebody takes the kids away from you, they automatically take over 75% of your income from you, which you are used to making. Yep. That's first of all. Second of all, if you turn around and then you start getting loans on money that's not there and you're not good with money management, you're gonna automatically fall off. You know Hello. I mean, that's the reason why you feel me, he fell off real bad type shit. But that's what's so crazy though, you gotta know how to manage money. You gotta definitely be surrounding yourself with the right people, man. Most of the people that'll come around you will be like fake haters and fake you know what i mean when i came around he was damn near asking me like man bro you know i'm fucked up right now um you think i can get a loan and this and that and i'm like what the fuck like what you mean like type shit so when i got around him um he had met this guy named big al when this nigga know too much information why does he know all this information why do we know that you borrowed three million dollars um he got into a big Al. Big Al said he worked with a company or whatever that can get him loans on his YouTube channel and this and that. And he was like, man, bro, what you think I should do? I'm like, shit, I don't really know. That's on you. Okay, you Stone. Why the hell are you getting loans going to buy designer? Create some content. I ain't gonna lie, them loan people hit me up too. And I was thinking about it because I want to get into them, um... That 20v1 content, I want to get into that. Uh, and it will have to work is the thing. The, it, the damn thing will have to work, <laughs> okay? But I don't need no loan to where y'all own my channel, basically. I ain't got time. But I would never borrow $3 million. I don't care how appetizing that sound. Nope. <laughs> you can afford to pay these people back, ship. Do it. But at the same time, since one of your biggest YouTubers go broke, it's crazy. Now, if we pay attention to everything, um, like I said, dealing with the kids, you got to think about it like this. You got three, you got three kids by one girl. She takes all the kids away from you. This your only source of income. Me, I say, man, won't you just find some other people who you can use their kids or just go to get around a lot of kids to make money. But instead, you try to do this relationship goal shit with Lexi. You know what I mean? You try to. I adored her back in from Indiana. You know what I mean? It's just people not catching the vibes like how they caught the vibe the first time with them. Then you're taking these big ass loans and they're scamming the hell out of you. You know what I'm saying? When you're trying to pay it back, so you can't really afford to pay it back. So you damn near stuck trying to, um, you damn near stuck trying to like figure out, how, damn, should I change my name or what? But at the same time, man, like I look at it like, I feel like he can get straight. The nigga just gotta get smart because he, it's a lot of ways to get right in his field. But if you're not mentally there, you gonna fall, you feel me? Yep. That's the only bad thing. You gonna fall? Home? I work at this thing every day. I don't care who has said whatever about me. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm gonna show up and be the best version of me every day. And I'm gonna try something different every time. And we just gonna see how it go. But I'm never quitting and getting all up in my ego. Hey, who, bro? All right. When you, when you have to, especially if you're competing. Now, if you're trying to compete with people and you're trying to be in competition with everybody, that shit only gonna hurt you because a person like me ain't doing bad. You know what I mean? And if you're trying to- Have y'all noticed only the men walk around and do this? Only the men. 
Man, hell yeah, because I'm saying, bro, it's like, it's stupid. Like, if you, you know what I'm saying, you do some shit like this, and then women be like, hold on, y'all. So this is what happened. <laughs> people all your friends I never understand it. Them. He don't want nobody to pass him up. Even people he work with, D-Lo and all them. I feel like the nigga never wanted D-Lo to, like, he was in, how you in tune, how you, like, in competition with a nigga you got working for you and don't want this nigga to do, I used to hate them type of people growing up. Like, it'd be a person you you with, but they don't want to see you with more money. He one of them type of niggas. Don't want to see you do better than them. Don't want to see you dress better than them. Don't want to see your, your, your um, car better than them and shit like that. So... I feel like when when we came around him, you know what I mean, we just seen things, but we ignored it. Like as far as like, like okay, this nigga is just, I guess he just like this. I don't know what the fuck like, but if like let's say if I go buy some mirrors or something, he'd be like, man, I gotta get those mirrors too, or I go get a new chain. He'd be like, I gotta go get a new chain too. So I'm not the type of person. I don't give a fuck what you get. If you go get something, I'm not trying to compete with you. You, you cannot compete where you don't compare. You, you just can't. Some people cannot go out with me because I'm, they can't keep up with me. But then I got some people I can't keep up with. So you come out with me, you can't even buy the shit that I buy. But I go out with a motherfucker and I can't buy the shit that they buy. I'm that neutral nigga right there. And I don't give a damn either way. <laughs> don't worry about if you can't buy this friend. Girl, I'm doing this. This is me. This is what I want to do. You do what you want to do. And then with the people that got more than you, I'd be motivated as hell. Like, oh, shit, you just, you just spent 5000 on that just now. No, did not a blink of an eye. I didn't even. Okay. Yeah, I got to do better. I got to do better. Wait, okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? You guys, you know what I mean? Like, if y'all go do something, I'm going to be like, damn, that's what's up, bro. You got a nice car. That's I've never been like the type of nigga that'd be jealous of what you got going on. I'm, that's why I'm blessed. I'm, I've never been a person that'd be like, oh, damn, damn, bro, why you ain't tell me you was going to go get all of my mirrors, man? I need, now I got to go get all of my mirrors. I've never been that type of person. So that's the type me of person either. he was. And when you're trying to keep up with a person that's making all this damn money, it's going to be kind of hard because you're on the loan. I'm not on the loans. And why would he try and keep up with Bam Man Kevo? This nigga make thousands of dollars every day. Couple hours. It's stupid bread. But he's a stupid hustler too. So like you cannot compete. You know what I mean? And when I was coming around him, like as, as far as if I land a deal, like let's say if I land a big deal, he'd be like, man, why you ain't put me on a big deal? Why you ain't do this? Why you ain't do that? You know what I mean? And I'm just like, bro, it's, everything is not about you type shit. Yeah. So I'm looking at it like. like That's why they fell out. Because CJ was too entitled around Batman Kevo's success. Now I understand. To be honest, I was never mad at bro, like, at all. I just know that he the type of nigga, like, okay, for instance, when I did the high speed, the nigga texts me like, man, bro, you did the high speed in Miami, bro, and all my fans are looking at me crazy because they think that you're crazy. And I couldn't even believe that lame man shit. I was like, what? Like, you feel me? So it's kind of like, and remind y'all, I know all the man business, and I never even got on the internet and spoke about that. The business that y'all would want to hear, I don't even speak about it because it's deep as hell, right? But it's a lot of weird shit that I'm pretty sure even CJ on 32s probably know about the nigga deep down business that he probably don't speak on. But at the end of the day, like, I look at it like with bro, it's like if people pay attention to it, he's just like a big kid or whatever. You got to damn near hold his hand with shit, like, because he don't understand nothing. He don't know nothing. All he knew... Even like we went to California back, what, about three years, two years ago or something like that, man. A nigga couldn't even make no food. He like, yeah, bro, uh, man, royalty usually cooks for me. Man. Royalty usually wash my clothes and royalty holds my penis when I piss or <laughs> shit like that. Like, like, bro. bro, I hate niggas like that. I really, really do. And don't be my friend. I'm going to cook you. I'm hungry. Uh, My thing is, Forget making yourself something, right? DoorDash is I'm ordering shoe racks right now. I got shoe racks on the way right now. 
You want to know why I'm ordering them? I ain't got time to go get them. Get what? Honey sauce and I already cut up my fruit, my vegetables, I made my food and shit. She got to take care of the house. She can't go get them neither. So guess who going to get them? Me. They on the way. I ain't even have to do shit. <laughs> one, one, one in the chat. So if I'm hungry, oh, I'm going to eat. I don't get it. Bro, would you stop talking about this lady gang? Like, you steady, like you're so dependent on this lady, folks. Like, so it shows that a person, if a person gets a two, three million dollar loan or a two million dollar loan or whatever, and you need your girl to do everything for you, how the hell are you gonna be able to pay this loan back? How do you How not, the hell are you gonna disrespect that woman? Have the independence to be able to pay the loan back, period, though. Like, you feel me? If you need this girl to do everything, so that's how I look at that shit. Like, everything has to make sense with me. I get $6 million, $5 million. Six, I'm not finna go rub it in his face and try to do this and try to do that. And, like, you know, he's that type of person. Like, man, I'm about to go do this. Oh, like, I say I'm finna go get it. Let's say if I say I'm finna get this. He's like, oh, man, damn, I need to go get Do they got a better one than that? Or do they got, Oh, like, my God. Well, I'm not trying to compete with you. You go go get the car. I'm going to be there happy for you. But he oh, wasn't. God. So some niggas will kind of get tired of that shit. They'll be like, man, this nigga is, like, You'll push somebody to the breaking point of like, man, this nigga really is like, I can't keep hiding this nigga a hater though, low key. You know what I mean? So mm. he was kind of just like, just like that on some, and like I said, it's a lot that a nigga can really speak about that have shocked people, but it's kind of like to the point where like he was only for himself, even, even with the girls, even with, even with Lexi and uh, bro ass just got to stop worrying about females and really stay focused on what he supposed to be focused on. You know what I mean? That's what it really mm -hmm. is about, you know? No cap. Appreciate you, my boy. <laughs> but I think that the reason why he said he got live diamonds from Ice Champ is because I feel like he's trying to... Okay, so when you're going through what CJ So Cool is going through, he has to, like, degrade the situation to make himself feel better. So he's probably like... Man, they gave me live diamonds, man, and no oh, money worth seven thousand dollars, man. I'm like, what is this, man? And I think that he's, I think he is on that level because at the same time he said, well, if I'm broke, well, it's it's okay to broke broke because Mike Tyson went broke and um uh, all the rest of these guys went broke and like, bro, if you went broke, you went broke, gang. Like, go file for bankruptcy and do it over again. Go get you a new LLC and start you a new name if your name fucked off or whatever it is. But at the same time. It's like he's the type of person that a, he, he he blames any and everybody. So we for know, instance, like when his house was getting broken into, when he was messing with the little prostitutes and shit, he huh? would basically blame you. He'd be like, um, "Prostitutes? We didn't know about prostitutes. Tell us more, Batman Kevin." Uh, he'd blame you, and he'd be like, um, "He'd blame you," and he'd be like, "Damn, uh, what's wrong?" Uh, yeah. So, gang, basically, uh, I got you. So he'd blame you, and he'd be like, "Man, um, if I want to never like, let's say if I be like, man, let's go, um, let's go to the mall or some shit. Let's go do something. And let's say if he had a girl stand at his house, like a little prostitute girl or something, he'd be like, man, if I want to never went to the mall, man, then the girl, the prostitute girl in the house, probably would have never." You know, took my stuff. <laughs> it's like, man, come on, gang. Like, the face is getting to this tea. We about to get into royalties. Mom like, exposes it. Type shit, but that's what it really be about, though, gang. It be just about that, though. But I mean, folks. One thing about them that I know, I'm gonna just give y'all a little insight. Folks love these whores, gang. You know what I'm saying? And like, I ain't, I can't even cap on that. Like, he got a real girl fetish. Like, he has to hit. The, that he love Vegas because of the females. Now. You know, um, as far as with that, that's his, I feel like that's his downfall. He's not, he's not, it's not like he's on crazy drugs, but it's the prostitutions. I mean, the prostitutions and the prostitution the is bad. You know what I mean? And me personally, I don't got no beef with you know, um, like CJ, uh, so cool or nothing like that. You know what I mean? Everything good. It's just the point where like it's just little things that irritate me as far as when the way he has say stuff about stuff. And it's like, bro, I really know you. I really know you know you. It ain't like you just talking from a distance. I know a whole lot about you. Like, plenty of times where we had to make little prostitutes.
to say, uh, hey, man, uh, can you go to the hospital and get rid of the baby and little shit like that? Like, then, nigga, millions and millions of girls' inboxes, the youngest girls, like, all types of shit. So, that's what I look at it like, bro. Just leave. Don't mention my name. Trust me, bro. Like They gonna have a field day with that Tata situation, because remember, um, she was 19, which, oh my God. It's legal, but Y'all, my allergies is going crazy. I feel like it's because of the fruits and the vegetables. <laughs> but, um, yeah, because of her age or whatever, you know, nobody was feeling that on the internet anyway. I really I am a troller. I will troll your life away all day. You will want to kill yourself playing with me, bro. Like, Damn. You feel me? Like, I will get on my podcast every day and literally talk about your ass all day. And bring girls on the show. I'll get real dirty and bring them girls that you mess with, them young girls on the show. You know what I mean? And give them a platform and all that. So leave me alone, gang. Damn. Don't never say nothing about me, ever. Damn. Type shit. So, with that being said, um, yeah. I feel like uh, I seen a uh, thing with CJ on 32, and I um, I see, like, basically what he talking about when it comes to, you know, me and him know a lot about that shit. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to CJ on 30, I mean, CJ so cool. You feel me? But it's just, man, bro, like, Niggas really like not really putting them out type shit. You get what I'm saying? So I think it's kind of so. like, man, bro, like leave a, leave me alone with this shit, you know? Like, you know, and I feel sorry for him really to be honest because when them kids got took away, that's when you seen them go downhill. He was trying to keep up off the little money that they gave him, but he tries to do everything to the biggest level, the highest level. Then people got to watch you upgrade, then watch you downgrade. Down Y'all got to film the feed, so let's get into this tea. We about you to get... You're supposed to be taking that money and saving. You're supposed to be putting that money into credit. Folks didn't know nothing about credit. That nigga credit. said... Say that again. The little money that they gave him, but he tries to do everything to the biggest level, the highest level. Then people got to watch you upgrade, then watch you downgrade, 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 downgrade. You know what I mean? When you supposed to be taking that money and saving, you supposed to be putting that money into credit. Folks didn't know nothing about credit when I first met him. He didn't know too much about nothing. He was solely dependent on everybody else to help him, you know, make money and do this. And I'm just like, bro, in the situation you in with the fan base you ha have, you can't, I understand that you're entertaining kids, but you are forgetting that this is fake and reality is real and you're, you are grown. You know what I mean? And by you being grown, you have to think like an adult, not think like a kid. You're paying bills like a kid. You're doing this like a kid. You're really acting like a kid. Mentally, you will be playing a game for three days straight like a kid. You know what I mean? So, um, great actor, but bad ma money management. You know what I mean? Um, and, like, played the blame game a lot with shit. You feel me? So, as far as that, um, I'm, I didn't really trip about him saying, oh, well, yeah, you know, he's... Oh, yeah, but in the Kevo, the this and that, and, like, you know, scammer and all this. But the thing is, though, it's like, bro. When did he say that? When was this? What I know, the information that I know about what he was doing, you know what I mean, is to me, I feel like it's a scam type shit. You feel me? So I'm looking at it like if you are doing what you're doing and, you know, you're not really getting no money like that, then... You doing something wrong type shit. So I'm like, bro, I think you should get into learning how to teach people how to do YouTube, maybe. You know, selling a course, <laughs> selling a class, doing this, doing that. But when you're trying to teach them, a lot of distractions come. All he cared about was royalty, you know? Man, if y'all new to this, we're basically talking about um, CJ So Cool, you know what I mean? Um, you know? Falling off type shit, which I feel like he can get back on if he's smart. I do do. Maybe he's turn up and then he's saying that oh, I'm not motivated and all this type of shit. But uh, I mean, you got to get motivated, you know, especially if you got kids. You don't want to be that person that just, you know, because people fall off, but some people can't get back on. And you got to think about it like people always say you need a different sources of income, different sources of income, different sources of income. You got to stay humble, too, though, man, because you can have one thing going on and then that shit can crash and then you, you know, going through what he going through. That's why me, I got seven, eight different sources of income. I have trading, you know what I mean, where I'm, I'm almost at an M in three weeks. I got M2, you know what I mean, which I teach people how to do 
Um, yeah, I got to get my trading together. That's one thing. But I needed to get my diet together first. If any of y'all trade too, let me know. Credit cleaning using the AI. You know what I mean? I got sports betting. You know, I'm doing everything, literally. I'm not just saying, oh, well, um, well, you know, I'm on YouTube and um, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Like, hell no. Nah. Like, YouTube, come on, bro. Like, people have been seeing that that shit, like, is taken away from people. Like, literally, they trying to sell more ads on YouTube. So what they doing is they trying to keep you, you know, on there while paying them money. So they took the algorithm. If niggas didn't pay attention to that, like, a year and a half, two years ago, they dumb as hell. You know what I mean? So you have to have another source of income. So I'm about to say, yeah, but you got to keep that motherfucker. And y'all wonder why I'm twitching and, and Patreoning. Come on now. You see niggas getting real money right now is not because of no YouTube. It's because they're doing other things. You feel me? Now, if CJ, if he would have stuck to probably doing the raffles and stuff like that, then he probably would be up some money right now. You know what I mean? But at the same time, he would have had to do that right because all it takes is one person to find out that, you know, um, he didn't either. Get, he didn't get the car, or he didn't do the right things in his old way. He fucked. You know what I mean? Especially dealing with the right person. You know what I mean? What well, by the time they put that shit out on every blog or every you know YouTube channel saying some shit, and then it's over with for that type. So um, I just feel like bro needed more. If you and then he had he, it. Just so many ways. If I was in his situation, the very first thing I would have did was went on these kid channels and try to either even if he had to get on. Do some shit with Miss Rachel. He could have linked with Miss Rachel, you know, the white lady that be on YouTube singing with the kids. He could have did some singing alone or something to get his. He could have did a lot. Channel back up on some smart shit, you know what I mean, and start back blowing himself up. But he want to sit in the house and be too cool and act too famous type shit. And I'm telling you, you gotta stay humble through this shit because you never know what position you might be in later. That's a fact. Especially if you dealing with somebody else's kids. So you're making all this money off somebody else's kids. And when they see that, they're like, hold on, this nigga is making all this money off this. Let me take them kids away. Come on, give me them kids. They take them kids. And and she did that because he kept clowning her. Nigga got to, listen, you will be humble. Now you sitting in the house, you, you, you know what I'm saying? And you just looking crazy and like, you know what I'm saying? And, and then you having all these problems back and forth to court. Then shit slow down. So... Me, I stay humble all the time, you know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, I be flexing, but not like overly trying to shit on a nigga because at the end of the day, what'll happen is you can be in that same situation. That's why I told myself, if I get some money, I'm gonna continue to make more and more and more and more sources of income. Because especially if it's like tied into something that's involving YouTube, YouTube is not guaranteed, you know what I mean? Even when he was running the raffles and shit, that shit not, not really guaranteed, you know what I mean? Because what if a motherfucker try to treat it like, you know what I'm saying, something else? You know, um, it's just a lot of different things, you know what I mean? That's not all the A1. Now, you can do the loans, but if you ain't doing the smart shit, if you want to go get apartments and cars and jewelry, then that's dumb as hell. You know, um. So stupid. He could have started up an Airbnb business. Hell, he could have started selling cars. Uh, um, renting out cars. Just, man. But at the same time, like I said, you got to he. You, he got to just be a little bit more smart, humble, and deal with the right people, put the right people in his circle and shit like that. He put uh, all his life into one female, and it affected him. I got hella backup plans because I always, I'm always be, I be moving panicky. I move, like, um, anxious when it comes to, like, one thing. Like, if one thing is, like, having one job and then not knowing that the job will fire you. That job yeah, fire you tomorrow, what you gonna do? You know what I mean? Like, you gotta think like that. Like, like I don't wanna be dependent on no damn, um, on no damn just one job. I need 10 jobs, you know what I mean? With a side hustle, you know what I mean? And that's that's what it be. Like, people be like, damn. So what, what'll happen is they'll go broke and then get mad at you. Or they'll just start blaming people that was around them. Like, yeah, my friend, that other friend, if he wouldn't have came around, or I wouldn't, probably I wouldn't have never ran into the prostitute if I wasn't looking at his Instagram because his Instagram made me motivated to get prostitutes type shit. Like, come on, gang, get your ass out of here. That's how he think. That's what he'd say. And I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nigga. You did them hoes wrong by yourself, gang. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at all that shit. But yeah. the good thing about me is I don't be tripping about things. I look at it like shit. 
I'm going to continue to make money. Like, money is like, I make money, bro. One thing about me, I make money type shit. I don't, I don't, I don't got to do nothing. I need to make the money. No, he ain't never going to blame himself. He ain't never going to sit and say, you know, no, nah, this was my fault and I did this. And blah, blah, blah. Nope. He going to blame your ass quick. He going to be like, no, I, I didn't. I would have never. Well, yeah, I did. I did this girl, but I would have never met her if, uh. You know, if I wasn't looking at your page and seeing that you and like, like I said, like even when I started traveling, when I was going traveling and stuff like that, it was like the nigga was kind of jealous about that though type shit. He was jealous about me traveling. I'm like, yeah, the nigga jealous about me traveling, gang. Like I can read it, but the point of not saying nothing and to be honest, a thousand percent, man, I've been getting money. I've been who I was. Like I didn't need CJ so cool to help me get anywhere in life. Like I'm all, I always been like this type shit. Um, I just look at it like everybody got to realize like some people is some people just around and don't want to see you really win at all. Especially if a nigga, especially if it's like they feel like they've been in the game longer than you and you come and just take they shit all the way over. Niggas be like, damn, this nigga came and fucked me over. I always tell y'all too, it's a possibility for that to happen. And P get along because they understood the mission. Like Kai came along after all of them blew up. But if we with Kai, we up. I don't care who make it. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't get that. You know what I mean? So it be like that type shit. Be like that. Yeah. Yeah. But like, like I said, man, you know, this ain't really like no superly like this to the nigga and nothing like that. Cause like I said, I know I like a whole lot of information. That's what I do. Like, I be waiting on niggas to say something because I, I get a rush out of shit. And I get make sure I get a lot of info on niggas and shit like that, you know. So, at the end of the day, you know, just letting y'all know that's what I think. I had It had something to do with the kids getting removed and um, the loans that he took. And we didn't put no gun to him and make him sign no papers. We didn't. Uh, forced the nigga to sign no papers. We didn't, you know what I mean? I'm Me, if I take a loan, I'm not blaming anybody. I'm never going to be that type of nigga to sit there and say, Who can you blame for your ass taking a loan? Not a soul. And if you wouldn't have been hanging out with that <laughs> guy, you wouldn't have, I'm never, that's weird as fuck to say that. Like, you know? Or just anything. Like, I'm just not ever going to blame another person for what I'm doing. Like, your own actions. It's just like the nigga getting, scamming somebody doing a raffle or some shit and was like, well, if I would have never hung out with him, I would have never scammed nobody with the raffle because <laughs> he was scamming. So I thought that I'll do the raffle and I'll scam. No, nah, nigga, I wouldn't do that. It's goofy. <laughs> so sometimes you got to take accountability. You feel me? But uh, I mean, just keep watching. Like one thing about life, man, just keep watching. It's going to catch up to you. This shit, this shit real. Yeah, we in Columbia right now. We're the bill right now traveling, man. Like I said, just made seven hundred fifty, no, seven hundred fifteen thousand dollars today on a wake up. I'm talking about he made the couple thousand my ass. Oh my god! Another two million dollars in the account. Just bored chilling. You know, we about to go to Africa in two weeks. You know, we're gonna take about nine, ten girls out there. Um, we definitely created an AI. We created an AI. Literally, hold on. We created an AI, right? And guess what that AI do, y'all? What? That AI cleans your credit using the AI. Because ain't y'all tired of giving people y'all information on, man, like, bro, can you clean my credit? I need something took off my credit. Yes. And the nigga taking months to do it. Nope. So I say, you know what? I'm going to create an AI that will do everything for me. And then I'm going to say I clean credit. So basically, I'm giving niggas a sauce on how to clean their own credit and clean other people's credit. M2, bandclan.com, man, you feel me? So I'm doing stuff like that. I'm out here creating software companies. I'm literally about to come out with a game. Hopefully, you know, it makes sense. Yeah, nigga just, he be giving all the sauce away. Uh, but anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. One thing that nigga know how to do is make some money. Um, and that's something that CJ So Cool should have caught on to. He should have just sat back seat to that nigga and got, you know, got all his business. But 
Y'all let me know what y'all think. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.